Welcome to an ASA Breaking News special webinar. My name is Tony Mala. I'm ASA's Vice President of Industry Relations. And we just got some information on the lubricant price increases. And we've asked Jason Thomas, from one of our ASA benefit provider business consultants for our Chevron program, to come and talk about what he's seeing in the market right now. We think this is very important uh, information for our members. So without further ado, Jason, welcome to the uh, webinar and thanks for your time today. Hi, Tony. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you uh, calling me up and uh, asking to present some information. So I'll be happy to do so. Perfect. Perfect. Well, I've just given you the screen. I see your slide. So let's dive right into it. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you just sent us. Sure. Sure. Uh, so, uh, you know, we just want to talk a little bit about some industry trends, especially related to pricing. Uh, so first of all, uh, my name is Jason Thomas. I'm a business consultant for Chevron. Uh, my contact information is on the screen if you would like to get a hold of me or or talk about the uh, the strategic partnership that Chevron and ASA has uh, as a benefit provider. But let's talk about what's happening in the market, what's happening with pricing. Um, and so there is a website out there or a newsletter and it's called Jobbers World. Um, and the link you can kind of see on the screen, I would highly suggest anyone that is uh, kind of in our field to subscribe to this newsletter. Uh, they publish things uh, that are very relevant uh, to you and may affect even your bottom line. Uh, they kind of give you ideas on industry trends. It is a third party, um, non-biased company that kind of gives kind of lays it all out on the line right so it's not chevron saying hey we're coming to you like this is uh you know a third party company saying this is what every oil company out there is doing you know they see okay we're here's some price spikes or uh they'll let you know that urea is going up or whatever it might be um and so an informed customer or an informed uh operator is a great operator um and that's what we would want uh, or what we would recommend everybody to do uh, so according to Jobbers World, this came out today or yesterday, I forget which one, but I uh, put a snippet of it on the screen and uh, we're looking at a third round of, of price increases. Um, we can see since December, uh, price, <laughs> pricing has gone up, base oil pricing has gone up three times. You can kind of uh, see on here that uh, some of the smaller companies are uh, kind of announcing first um, they can't afford to wait, uh, so they're kind of coming out and saying, hey, we're, we're, we're announcing our price increases, we're going up 15, 16%, whatever it might be. Uh, Chevron itself has not announced yet. I'm, I'm sure that we would probably follow suit um, and we're not far behind, uh, but that hasn't, you know, come out yet. So, uh, but, you know, as an ASA member, uh, you have a strategic partnership with Chevron. So we're here to help provide some industry insights on trends and what's going on in the market. And that's kind of what we're doing today. So the market was, you know, very dynamic in 2020, as you as you all probably know. And it appears uh, we're pretty, we're staying consistent with that, if not trying to top it here in 2021. Um, so what's what's causing this third round, right? So uh, the, the market dynamics are impacted by increases in raw materials. Um, the metal for the drums uh, that we, we keep the oil in are, are actually increasing. Um, we see the, the you know packaging increasing and, and also transportation costs are going up again. Um, but as we look at this, um, you know it it breaks it out by all the oil companies. So you know you can you know if you're subscribed to this, this is sent to you via email, and you can look at Chevron, Valvoline, Exxon, Phillips 66, Warren Oil, whatever it might be. Um, you can kind of see it across the board, and and I like supplying this to uh, you know my customers directly because I don't want to be <laughs> I often come across sometimes as a bad guy because I'm always increasing your oil price, right? You know, then you have to pass on to your customers, your customers aren't happy. And, you know, for me, I, I want them to know, hey, this is something that it's industry wide. This is this is nothing that I'm doing to you just in particular, or I'm trying to, you know, increase profits or anything. Like we're just we're trying to keep up with the increased cost of goods sold to us. And unfortunately we kind of have to pass it along. So this is something that just shows the industry. Um, the next slide I, I kind of want to show you is just a quick brief 
uh, impact of cost of goods sold. This is something that we saw in February, uh, and you've got the the net increase on the left, um, and where you can see the 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 additives and the base oil, how their prices went up uh, considerably from uh, December into January and February. Uh, but that is all I have, Tony. Do is there any questions or anything that you may have? I do. I have a couple of questions. Uh, real quick, you had talked about the main driver of the increases being basically the the price of goods that you use going up. Um, is, is that something that you think is going to continue through the end of 2021 and maybe into 2022, or is there a chance that what goes up must come down or may come down? Um, I I think that both of those statements are true. I, I think that um, you know it's hard for for me or for us to predict what's going to happen. You know, we can only look at at this snapshot in time. You know, we see cost of goods going up. I don't see any 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 decline in that soon. Um, but I also know what, you know, if you look at oil prices, historically, you can kind of see a cyclical motion where things go up and then they come down. And then as supply increases, you know, or demand increases and that fluctuation of things, you know, the price goes up and down. So it, it's it's something that is around to stay for at least the time being, but, uh, you know, I can't really say for sure. Hmm. Well, as you say, usually this is a supply issue um, that is driving prices up. Now it seems like it's more of a materials issue, as you had mentioned. So um, increasing supply would actually increase your materials cost, wouldn't it? It would. It would help have more supply. I, I know that uh, you know we've had some issues, uh, you know, lately with the storms around Texas and different things that have hurt production just due to uh, other base oil providers being able to supply. Uh, mm -hmm. enough product. Uh, but if we if we get that ramped up, you know, uh, they should be back online here soon. Perfect. Well, Jason, I want to thank you for your time today. We certainly appreciate um, Chevron and you both uh, as being partners of ASA. You guys have a great program for our members. And uh, please keep us informed. Uh, this is very valuable information for our members. Please keep us informed as we go forward when you see any changes. And we'll look forward to talking with you down the road. Yes, sure thing. I will do. And if uh, if any of you all are interested in contacting me or becoming a uh, you know a, a customer of Chevron to to take uh, take part of that benefit of having that strategic partnership with ASA and Chevron, uh, my contact information is on the screen. It is Jason Thomas at Chevron.com, uh, or you may reach me in my cell. It's 502-297-2821. And Tony, thank you for having me. Oh, J Jason, thank you very much again for your time. Uh, we really do appreciate it. And again, we'll look forward to uh, catching up with you down the road. This is great stuff. Keep it coming. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Take care. You too. Bye-bye.